hi guys welcome to another weekly vlog so today is november 3rd i believe yes wednesday november 3rd i have not posted a vlog on youtube for a little while so we are jumping back into it and yeah i just thought i would hop in say hello i'm actually just about to leave to go grocery shopping i've been sitting here for the past hour or so trying to sort out some recipes to make for the week i'm taking a little break from meal lime just because i've made so much stuff on there that i don't know i'm just getting a little bored of it it's freaking amazing like if you've used it it's honestly such an awesome app but yeah i've made recipes from that app exclusively for probably like half a year now which is insane so i'm branching out a little bit i cracked into some of my cookbooks that i have and also i actually asked you guys on instagram uh to send me recipes so i started saving some of those and i found a new app you guys i'm all about these like meal apps recipe apps because I just, if I'm not organized with when it comes to my recipes or what I'm making, I'll just eat like crap. So it's just really important to me to stay organized. So the one that I started using today is called Paprika. I'll show it to you. So it's basically an app that you import recipes to. So you can import recipes from websites and it will like convert it to... I don't know like the format you need with all the ingredients and everything or you can like type in recipes you can take pictures like i added whoops i added a photo from uh one of my recipe books uh i've just downloaded it this morning so i'm still playing around with it but a lot of these recipes most of them actually were recommended from people on instagram so i added those in and then uh, similar to meal lime, you can import the recipes to a grocery list. So I have my grocery list ready to go. And then, what is this? Pantry. I'm not really sure how this works. I think this is how you can, like, keep track of what you have in stock in your house. And then, um, this is really awesome. So you can plan what you're eating for the week or for the day or whatever so tonight i'm going to be making this garlic tofu i'm going to do like a rice bowl with broccoli and yeah you can plan it out like it's like a little calendar which is so cool and yeah i just love that so this is the app that i'm just kind of playing around with now and i'm going to use this to do my grocery shopping today not my ipad obviously i'm going to be bringing my phone because i have the app and everything uh like uh, what's it called syncs to your different devices so i have all this on my phone now i can keep you guys updated on how i'm enjoying that app because it does cost seven dollars so i canceled my meal line for now and i got that app and i'm really excited to test it out and to just compile a bunch of different recipes and it'll be nice to kind of make different things and just I don't know expand and challenge myself a little bit more when it comes to cooking and i'm going to do more baking for the holiday season or the cooler months i should say as well meal lime is so simple which i love but everything is kind of the same technique like i don't know i just feel like i can challenge myself and learn some more things if i branch out to different resources so yes all this to say i am heading out to go grocery shopping it's 12 19 right now uh i need to yeah i need to head out right now because it's getting late in the day and i need to walk all of when i get home and stuff so i'm going to leave right now Okay guys, I just got home. I'm gonna put away my groceries and I'm just leaving my jacket on because right after this, I'm gonna take Olive out. Okay, this up here too. You guys, I'm editing this video a full week later and I completely forgot that I had those mozzarella sticks that I'm holding in the freezer until now I had no idea and yesterday I was like oh like what can I make I'm so hungry I totally forgot that I had those I just saw them in this clip and I was like oh my god I still haven't tried them oh my gosh I'm gonna be making those today for sure 
I got these vegan matzo sticks to try. I had them on my story and I got such mixed responses. Some people said they're really good and some people said they're gross. So of course I'm just curious and I have to try them. Just wait, we're gonna go soon, okay? Cookie dough. Got these breakfast hash brown things to try. I've been eyeing them for like two months and I never, I've never tried them just because they're expensive, but I'm gonna treat myself this time. Tofu, vegan Parmesan. Oh, I got yogurt. This is a coconut milk yogurt, which I don't normally get uh, yogurt, but I don't know, my breakfasts have just been, I'm just trying to mix it up for breakfast lately because I either just have oats or cereal. I try not to have cereal, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just bored of breakfast, so I'm trying to switch it up. I'm just kind of shoving everything in right now because Olive really wants to go. Uh, a bunch of canned stuff. The beans and chickpeas and stuff were on sale, so I got stocked up on some of those coconut milk essential i feel like i use coconut milk all the time and then i just have some garlic a bunch of onion <laughs> skins in here tomato paste i got this vegan butter i'm gonna be making some muffins and some pastry for a pot pie more canned stuff <laughs> I usually just try to grab extra of the canned stuff when I go, but I always have it on hand. Some Zevia. This is, where's the English? Is that English? Yes. Um, this is my favorite drink lately. I'm obsessed. It's just like a healthier version of ginger ale. Okay. Compostable dog poop bags need those i got some hummus this is roasted pine nut i have crackers and um veggies that i'm going to dip in that i have some frozen veg i'm gonna be using this for my pot pie some carrots some more bananas um i got an oat milk and an almond milk Okay, random produce, mostly onions, lemon, lime, jalapeno. And then I was out of zinc, so I got more zinc. And the iron I take was on sale, so I got an extra one of those. And then I got a loaf of sourdough, which I'm so excited about because I have not bought bread since... Uh, since I moved, I don't know, I was on this thing where I was just not keeping bread in the home uh, Because I do eat it like I snack on it a lot when I do have it. So We'll see but I'm just gonna have it for now. I wouldn't say that I'm restrictive with my eating. I would just say that I try to Have like the healthiest options available because I know that I'll just want to eat junk if it's available There's just lots of veggies in here. I got this black kale to freeze for my smoothies. I normally just get regular kale, but I don't know. I decided to switch it up. This is basil, and it literally smells so good. Some broccoli, which I'm going to cook tonight. I'm definitely going to organize my fridge later because the way I'm throwing everything in right now is atrocious. Fruit, um, avocado another pepper, some sesame seeds, I got this kale blend, and a strawberry jam. These are the jars that I repurposed for my spices, so I still have a lot that I need to convert to these jars, so I'm just back buying this jam until I have like 10 more jars to use. Okay, <laughs> we're stocked, but we're not organized. 
but that's okay because my priority right now is this little mouse. You wanna go for a walkie? You wanna go for a walkie now? Okay, let's go. Ollie, did you have a good walkie? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's take your harness off. <laughs> you so hyper now. You so hyper. Hey guys, it is the next day. It is Thursday, November 4th, and I am just making some, actually this was gonna be lunch, but then I realized it's gonna take too long to make, so I'm gonna have my leftovers from last night for lunch, um, but I am working on a tomato soup. So it's not finished yet. Um, this needs to cook and then I need to pop it in the Vitamix and blend it all up. And then I'm gonna have this for supper with a grilled cheese sandwich. So I'm really excited for that cozy dinner. The reason it's gonna take a while is because I don't have an immersion blender. So I need to let this cool um, before I put it into my regular blender. So yeah, I'm going to heat my leftovers right now. I just thought I would pop in. It's 117. I've been editing and filming this morning, but I didn't do my makeup. I didn't even get dressed today because what I was filming, uh, I wasn't in the clips, so I didn't really have to get ready. I am gonna get dressed after lunch though because I'm going to take Olive for W-A-L-K, although it did start raining again. <sighs> so she's probably not gonna wanna go. It's been raining so much lately. So this meal that I made last night, the one I'm having for my leftovers, um, I showed me making it last night. It's good, but the amount of pepper, like I don't know if it's just me, but or if it's my pepper or what the heck, but I would need to like half the amount if I made this next time. It's supposed to be black pepper spicy, but this is like really freaking spicy and I like spicy, you guys, so. I don't know, but I was like, holy crap, this is like way too much pepper in here. Um, it called for a tablespoon, of course, freshly ground black pepper. Um, also, because these recipes aren't from Mealime, they're from online, I can link them. So I will link any recipes that I make in this vlog in the description box. But yeah, I would say that this garlicky tofu, it's good, but definitely, I am not going to put that much pepper next time. So the Ordinary, the skincare that I use in November, they do a 23% off site-wide sale and it's such a great time to stock up on things. I posted on my Instagram story this morning. Uh, when I realized that they were having that sale, I was like, oh my gosh, that's right, it's November. So I went and I stocked up on everything, placed an order with them. So I'm really excited for that to arrive. But I'm pretty sure that it goes all month. So it's still going to be November when this vlog goes up. So yeah, go check it out if you want to pick something up. It's a really great time. Obviously not sponsored. I wish The Ordinary would sponsor me, but it's just such a great sale. So I'm just letting you know, doing you a favor. Anyways, I'm going to eat this. I'll talk to you guys later. Nope, this one will not walk with me. She won't budge. Are you cozy in your nest there? Did you booga? That's fine, I'm just gonna make some tea and edit and maybe she'll wanna walk with me later. We shall see. <sighs> I just washed my hair. And on hair wash days, I try to do my mask as well. So here I am. It's the Ordinary Salicylic Acid Mask. It's the only mask that I do because I feel like it's the only one that actually makes a difference. So it's 7.38 right now. And I, I wanna say I'm almost done editing my video, but realistically, I probably still have an hour to an hour and a half 
left of editing it and then I still need to make the thumbnail and everything like that. So I'm hoping to be done it by 9.30 tonight. I've been working on it just kind of all throughout the day in chunks, which was actually nice. I hate just being like crunched and having to edit for like four or five hours. It's just too much. Mm, my tomato soup, it was really good. Grilled cheese was really good as well. I wish I cut the cheese a little bit thinner so that it was more melty, but since it was kind of larger chunks, it wasn't super melty, but tasted really good. Amazing, satisfying dinner. So yeah, that was good. I still have to tidy up the kitchen a little bit. It's not bad though, it's just a little messy. I'm gonna wait for this mask to dry, wash it off. I need to blow dry my hair, and then I'm gonna take olive potty and then finish editing my video get ready for bed maybe i'll watch an episode of you i've been going to bed so late i've been going to bed at like 11 which is really late for me part of the problem is that i can't stop watching you <laughs> so i need to be done with that series anyways i'll leave now i'm just i don't even know why i came on here i'm just rambling but my hair is clean so this is good you guys this is good Okay, my camera died while I was getting ready, but it was probably boring anyways. And yeah, I'm, well, I still need to get dressed, but I did my makeup and my hair. I actually cut my hair, well, trimmed, just trimmed a little bit off of the ends of my hair the other day, just myself, just to get rid of the dry ends, but it looks nice and nice and blunt and crisp and healthy. <clears throat> so I just, well not just, I uploaded a video a few hours ago and I don't know what it is about Friday uploads. Like do people not watch YouTube on Fridays anymore because I swear no matter what I upload it just does not do well. So I don't know if I'm going to be uploading on Fridays anymore. I might switch it to Thursdays or something because yeah I don't know, I don't know what it is but they just never perform well on Fridays which is a little bit stressful, but I am trying to not get caught up in the numbers and like keep checking it. So yeah, ready for the day. It's Friday. I think I've vlogged almost every day this week, which is nice. I am going to take Olive for WALK. It's a little early, it's still the morning. We usually go in the afternoon, but the sun is out right now. So I really need to take advantage of that. Look at how bright it is, it's so nice. Let's see if I can focus, there we go. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then I have two videos to film this afternoon. And then this evening, I'm gonna be watching a movie with Hillary. We're gonna make some guacamole and watch, I think some type of thriller type movie. So yeah, that's the plan, chill Friday. And then I'm probably just gonna be working through the weekend. Well, I'm definitely gonna be working through the weekend. On the weekends, I like to get a lot of house chores done. So I'll do that. And then I also am gonna have the two videos that I filmed today to edit because they both need to be finished by Monday. So yeah, I feel like this is such an uneventful week to come back after not vlogging for like a month, but I'm sorry. I did some things last weekend and I actually did vlog it, but that went up in a Patreon vlog. So I hope that this one isn't too boring. Okay, I got dressed and by the time I got dressed, like 10 minutes later, it's clouded over outside and she would not go. So she's gonna go back and sleep for a couple hours and then I'm gonna try again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Does anybody else have a dog that absolutely cannot stand the cold and refuses to leave the house in the winter time? Because it's honestly quite the task for me every single day. She needs her exercise, so I have to get her out. Morning. It is Saturday morning, uh, 9.08 a.m. I've been up for a few hours now. Last night, I watched a movie with Hillary, and we made a guacamole. I think I got one, like, tiny clip of us, of the whole hangout, and it was just of the avocados. Ooh, that is a lot of avos. Nice. 
But yeah, it was a really nice evening and we watched uh, Double Jeopardy, which is a movie from the 90s. It was really freaking good though. Like I definitely recommend if you haven't seen that one and you like like thriller, suspense kind of movies, really good. So I just wrote my little to do, well, it's not little. I got a lot of stuff to do today. I just wrote my to-do list for today. Uh, usually throughout the week, I plan my days out on Google Calendar, like by in like time block, you know, situation um, so that I stay on track and get everything done. But on the weekends, I find that I tend to just use my whiteboard and just kind of write what I need to get done. And then I just kind of, I don't know, do it in whatever order I want. So today, Today I have to film. I have a lot of filming to do today. I have two full videos to film and one is has a sponsor so I need to have that edited and sent to them um, by Monday. And then I also have several videos that are on the go that I need to film like updates for etc. So uh, I have three. <laughs> three that I need to film for. These ones don't take as long though since they're just like little chunks. Uh, I need to edit, like I said, the video, one of the videos that I'm filming today. This one, I think I'm gonna edit tomorrow evening. And then I have some plant care to do today. Oh my goodness, yes, you guys. I found, ugh. Okay, so I suspected that I had thrips on my polyneura because the damage was consistent with thrip damage and I could see like a little bug at one point but I, I didn't find anything else on my other plants so I have just been treating that polyneura and then yesterday I noticed that there was some similar looking damage on my golden pothos which was on the other side of my bedroom from my polyneura and I was inspecting it with my phone flashlight and I freaking found an adult thrip which was disgusting um like the thought of pests doesn't really gross me out but then whenever I find one like crawling it just oh it really freaks me out so I was like oh my god like the thrips I'm gonna have to treat all the plants in that room I think because who knows where else they are if I've found them on plants on either side of that room luckily I don't have a ton of plants in there but of course of course, of course, I moved the plant that was right beside that golden pothos to my living room. Uh, it's my Cebu Blue that's on the top there. That used to be right beside that golden pothos. So I'm like, oh my God, if that thing has thrips and I've just moved it to a whole other room of my house, I can't with that. <laughs> I've only had thrips once. This was quite a long time ago when I was first getting into plants. It took months to get rid of. Um, so, you know, I'm not panicking. I try not to panic about pests anymore because it just is what it is. And I can just, you know, try my best to try to get rid of them. And yeah, I am a little bit concerned because my Monstera Albo is in my bedroom um, near that shelf. And I would be upset if that plant got thrips because I've just spent a lot of time growing that plant it's finally looking really good so <sighs> so today i'm gonna be treating a bunch of plants i'm probably gonna do that in the evening i don't usually do pest treatments during the day i usually do it in the evening um so so i'm gonna be doing that this evening and i think i'm probably gonna start filming a video on it because i've been getting a lot of questions and requests for pest treatment videos I'm not experienced in treating this, so it's more just going to be like documenting my journey to eradicate them. But yeah, not fun. Finding pests is never fun. I immediately just put that golden pothos in the bathtub. There it is. It still looks really good. The only thing that tipped me off is, oh, it's so dark in here, you can't tell, but there's like weird yellowing on the end of that leaf there and it goes through to both sides which I've been finding is what the thrip damage looks like like it makes the underside of the leaf look really weird as well but yeah I'll be like I said filming my treatment process and everything maybe I'll just give you guys a little sneak peek of what I'm gonna be using where is it um I don't know where my treatment spray went Mm 
Okay, so this is what I'm going to be- oh, that's French. This is what I'm going to be using. Uh, like I said, I have been using this to treat the polyneura, and that one's doing okay, so... Thrips. So I'm going to be using this to treat a bunch of plants in that room, I guess. Anyways, yeah, I have a long day of filming ahead of me, so I'm going to get started, and I'll talk to you guys later. Hi guys, happy Monday. Oh my goodness, hello, hello. This camera is wild. Okay, there we are. Yes, it is Monday. I have just been working on a few things. I actually just put up these two wooden, um, wooden framed art pieces that I received. And I love them. I think that they look so cute. My Dyson is actually here in this spot right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's less cute with the Dyson, but I do want to get a really small little kitchen table and put it there. I just haven't yet. I really need to go to Ikea, but it's on the mainland and I just have not been over there. So anyways, once I have a table there, the Dyson will be moved and I think it's going to look even better, but yeah, they just make my kitchen look so much cozier. I love it. And one of my subscribers, well, I don't know if they're a subscriber. I'm assuming that they're a subscriber, um, but she reached out to me on Instagram. Anyway, someone reached out to me on Instagram. They have an Etsy shop that makes those signs and um, yeah, they asked if they could send me some. So really happy about that. Oh shoot, missing. I'm just putting on my nails and hammer and stuff. So yesterday was a really productive day. I know I did get some clips from yesterday that you already saw, but I was just doing stuff around the house. I took down the Halloween decor. I was treating my plants. I was doing a lot of cleaning, um, scrubbing the floors, you know? I was just getting everything done. I made a shepherd's pie, which was really good. Um, yeah, yesterday felt really good really productive. Today's been good as well. I edited and posted a video this morning. Um, I've been answering emails. I need my hands. What else have I been doing? I was working on a video, like planning an upcoming video that I have. That's kind of a bigger one that's requiring more like effort in planning and communicating with brands and stuff. But now I am, yes, I'm having another no makeup day. Oh, also yesterday was daylight savings and I had no idea at all. So my grow lights are on time. Well, a lot of them are on those like old school timers that you, it's just like a dial. It's not like through Wi-Fi or anything. Um, so obviously those don't change <laughs> with daylight savings. Uh, so when my grow lights go off, I wake up. That's like my alarm system. So my grow lights turned on, I got up. And I'm like, you know, making my coffee, taking olive outside. 
I was like 20 minutes into getting my morning going and I looked at my phone and I was like, why does my phone say it's 5.20 and not 6.20? Because <laughs> my curl lights normally turn on at 6. And then I had to Google it and yeah, it was daylight savings. So I just got up an hour earlier and I just went with it. And I really think it helped fuel me getting so many things done, just having that extra hour. So I decided to just leave my grow lights like that. So now I'm getting up at 5 a.m. instead of 6 a.m. We'll see if I keep going with that. But so far, so far so good. I'm really liking it. I like having the extra hour to get stuff done, especially because mornings are my favorite time of day. Mornings are when I have the most energy and feel the most productive. So yeah, I think it's gonna be good. I used to always get up around five, but I kind of fell off of that. So I'm back, I'm back on it. Another new email here. Okay, so right now I'm just going to take all of, uh, for a WALK, we didn't go yesterday because it was raining so much, but it, oh, is it raining a little bit? You've gotta be kidding me. Okay, not really. I don't think it's, it might be like barely spitting, but I think it's gonna be okay. So I'm actually gonna take her to the lake because we haven't gone to the lake in like a week. So we're gonna go there. I'm debating getting Starbucks on the way just for a treat because they have their new holiday drinks and I haven't tried them yet and I really wanna try the sugar cookie one. So I might do that. I've been so good with not buying Starbucks or really like any type of takeout or anything like that. So I think I'm going to treat myself today. Oh, I also wanna stop at PetSmart because I really need orchid bark and I can't really find orchid bark at any like plant places near me. And I know people say to go to a pet store and pick up like the bark that's used for reptile bedding because it's the same thing. So I'm gonna go check it out and see what they have. And honestly, that will be amazing if I can save some money on that because I feel like I'm just going through so, so much like plant substrate supplies lately. Um, so I'm gonna go check that out as well. This is the most rambly vlog ever. I'm so sorry. I feel like nothing has even been happening, but I'm just talking to you anyways. <laughs> I was talking to my camera and it wasn't even recording yet. Anyways, I have secured the latte, you guys. So I'm very excited to try it. It smells so good. I'm trying to figure out how the heck to get back on road here. <laughs> I'm still like not super familiar with my area. I'm trying to get out of this parking lot, which isn't even the parking lot that the Starbucks is in, <laughs> but I'm somehow in here. Holly. Good girl. <laughs> good girl, good running. Yes. You guys, I just got fooled by daylight savings again. <laughs> I was in my car and I thought it was three something and then I came home and looked and it's actually only two something, which is really nice. So I ended up going to PetSmart and I found some fur bark, you guys, and look at this. This is life-changing information. Look at this huge bag that I got. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. So this is 24 quarts or 26.4 liters. This is a massive bag of um, fur bark. Hopefully this works fine because I bought the biggest bag that there was. I'm sure it will. It looks like exactly like the bark that I buy and pay way more money for because I buy these tiny bags of orchid bark, which is the same thing, fur bark, and and I pay like $10 for one of those little bags. And this giant bag came to, it came to about $40 with taxes, Canadian, so it'd be less in US. But yeah, I'm so stoked about that. I'm really glad that I went in there and checked. Um, and I bet you it goes on sale sometimes too, so I'll have to keep my eye out. So now I have everything I need to pot up some of my propagations. I'll probably film a video um, doing that. Yeah, it's very exciting. I love having a fresh, a fresh batch of soil, you know? or a fresh batch of potting mix, I should say. Anyways, I'm gonna go and get some stuff done. I'm actually probably gonna end this vlog right now because 
nothing else is really going to be going on and I'm going to start editing it tomorrow so that I can have it up on this Saturday. So yeah, I will leave it here. Let me know if you still enjoy my vlogs and want me to vlog when I'm just doing regular life stuff around the house. I personally like watching people's vlogs when they're just chill like this, but I don't want to bore you guys to death, so let me know. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more vlogs, and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye!